Hello brothers and sisters, it's Paul, and I have a dream and a message to share with you, and I guess it's kind of a teaching in a way. Um, the Lord gave me a dream about four days ago, I had to pray over this for three days before putting it out, because I wanted to make sure that it was from the Lord, and I also wanted to make sure uh, just that I was hearing from Him. So... It was a very simple dream. The Lord always shows me what I see and what I understand, and it usually leads me to what I'm going to read. My hesitation laid in the area of where I had to go look for scripture, so here, I'll explain. So in my dream, I saw my oldest, one of my sisters, his name is Suzanne. And in the dream, I saw her have a baby, and I didn't see the baby, but they told me it was a dragon. And that was the end of the dream. <clears throat> so I sat on that, and all day I was seeing all these confirmations. And I'm going, God, I don't understand. What do you want me to read? There was nothing to Google that was Suzanne with the Bible. However, there is a book of Susanna in the Apocrypha. So I read it. And here's the story in a nutshell. I'm making it short form here, but there was a man who married a woman who was very fair, and her name was Susanna. And this man was very rich. In, uh, in a, this was in old biblical times. And she was so beautiful that some of the elders of this city basically lusted for her. So one day, after many, many days of them watching her, they wanted to have their way with her. So on a day where she told her servants to close the garden gate, she was going to go bathe herself. She went there and she told everybody to leave and the gates were locked. And these two elder men were hiding in there. And they gave her the ultimatum, either let us be with you or we will turn around and say that you've been having an affair with a young man and ruin your reputation anyways. And she looked up and cried to God saying, Oh Lord, don't let me fall this way. So she screamed as loud as she could and everybody came running and they stuck to their story and they said that she had been unfaithful to her husband. But while in the process of the court system, she begged out for God again and they sent her a guy named Daniel who basically interviewed both of the old men and found that they were lying because their stories didn't line up. And that was the end of that book that I read. Now, this is where it gets interesting. See, I've been praying for over a month for God. I want to hear his voice on anything and everything in my life. Well, I walked into work on that day and somebody tried to misrepresent me and in the end, I stuck to my guns. I asked God to protect me. And when they, when this person brought in management and tried to accuse me of stuff that were not true, they were exposed for being liars. And I was basically freed of the situation they were trying to propose about me. And that was that. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, here's why. We are entering into a time, I'm talking about Christians and believe, believers in Yeshua, Jesus Christ. We will probably be thrown to the wolves. Many, many people will be thrown to the wolves and misrepresented false witness, etc., etc. Be very careful who you keep company with. Be even more careful who you share information with. Pray for everyone that you can help. Still speak the gospel to those who will listen. But choose your words wisely because we are entering into very dangerous times. Anyway... I just wanted to be obedient to God to share this. So I love you. 
That's the message. Jesus loves you so much more. Don't ever doubt that God's not watching over you. Walk in his ways. Read his word. He loves you. He will protect you. Okay, bye guys.